practice that I've designed for you today is designed to help you um, harness your energy, bring it into your center so that then you can focus wherever you happen to be in your day. So whether it's you know getting your kids ready for school, um, showing up with your clients or at your job, um, showing up with your partner in your friendships, and you're not scattered somewhere else. So this is the practice that's gonna help you to come inside, to nourish that inner place inside, to align with your highest intentions so that you know you're not scattering yourself too thin. And um, that way you'll go through your day having energy and you'll be resourced, okay? So how we're gonna do this is start with the um, legs crossed in a comfortable position. If you need to sit on a blanket, if your spine is at all rounded, you can sit up on a blanket so that your spine is tall and upright. We'll take our hands to our hearts. We'll begin with an ohm. So we're gonna close our eyes, take a moment to center, take a nice deep breath in, and a nice full long breath out. So just relax as you breathe out, relax your inner body, <clears throat> Feel the strength in your spine. And then we'll take another exhalation. We're going to breathe in and take an OM. Deep breath in. to that inner heart center, your solar plexus, the intention to commit to your practice today on your mat. And then as you exhale, release your hands, let your eyes open. We'll take a gentle twist, taking your right hand back, left hand onto your knee and root down through your seat as you exhale. And as you inhale, nice full breath up through the spine and twist. So the focus is here at the navel center. Inhale back to center, exhale to the other side. So starting with your exhale, root down, inhale up through the spine, a couple of deep breaths. And then inhale back to center. We'll take the hands onto the shoulders. It's a Kriya that we're gonna do just to move the energy in the solar plexus area. So hands on the shoulders. <clears throat> and we're gonna inhale left, exhale right. So I like to keep the eyes closed here and you can just find your own pace or follow me. Here we go. Thirty more seconds. Try to keep a smile on your face. Inhale left and then exhale release. Release the hands back onto the thighs. Take a breath or two and just feel the energy moving. You should feel a little more enlivened inside. And then let your eyes open and we'll make our way onto our hands and knees for some cat-cow stretching. So hands directly underneath the shoulders. Great, and then we're gonna inhale, arch the back, open the chest. And as you exhale, pull right into the navel center, round the back, chin to chest. Keeping that attention at your navel, arch the back, look up. Exhale, pull it back in, draw the energy into the core. Inhale, radiating from the core outward, open your heart. Two or three more breaths on your own. Working that pulsation of breath, inhaling. Exhale. Last breath here, inhale. And exhale. 
And this time we're going to reach the right leg back, take the left arm out in front, and exhale. You're going to squeeze and make a fist with your hand, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale again, harness the energy in. Focus your intention. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Last one, inhale. And exhale, draw it in. And then switch sides, left leg back, right arm out. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, stretch through the bones, and then you're going to engage the muscular energy into the core. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Intentionally pull in. Good. Inhale, we're going to reach back out, place the right hand down, left foot to the floor, and then we'll come right back to a downward facing dog. Okay, so you're going to just take this first dog pose, bend your knees a little bit, stretch the hips back. Move the inner thighs back and apart, so you widen the lower back. And then as you straighten the legs, drop the heels towards the floor and squeeze those outer ankles in towards center. And take a few nice, easy breaths here. Ujjayi breaths. And then we'll walk the feet together and reach your right leg to the sky and extend long. I'm just gonna hug, hug the leg in towards the center, almost like you're squeezing a tennis ball between your thighs. You really activate the core, activate the inner thighs, yeah? And then bend the knee, and we'll step all the way forward into a lunge, and turn the back heel to the floor. And then inhale, come on up to second warrior pose. So, Check your stance, you want to make sure that your front knee bends directly over your ankle. So there's a nice 90 degree angle here. And the spine is upright. And then you can let your gaze fall over your fingertips and breathe here. So we want to cultivate lots of strength in the legs, in the feet. Sense of grounding from the hips down into the feet. Then you can expand the upper body, lengthen the spine, open the heart. Yeah, and just really feel that heart fire, that commitment to moving forward, commitment to staying steady in your life. Yeah. Stay, just a couple more breaths. Keep a smile on your face. Yeah, so there's a sense of direction, focus. And inhale, straighten, turn the feet parallel, turn to the other side. Exhale, bend your knee right over your ankle, Virabhadrasana two. So again, just making sure there's a right angle in the front leg, back heels grounded, arms are steady. Breathe. So this pose can really help you cultivate the inner strength, the commitment to move forward. So if you ever feel stuck and stagnant in your life, come into this pose and stay in it as long as you can, moving through that stuckness. Moving through the edges. Soften your breath into it. Keep it steady. Beautiful, then inhale, straighten the legs. Turn the feet parallel, bring your hands together at your heart. And just pause for a moment here, close the eyes. Feel what's moving. See if you can feel, feel that you moved some energy, maybe you moved through a little bit of stagnation. You feel a little more committed, a little more centered. Great. And then we're going to turn back over to the front, set your hands to the floor, and slide your way back to downward facing dog. And from here, inhale, slide your chest forward, plank pose, exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale into cobra. Heart is open, shoulders back. Keep the feet spreading so there's a Groundedness through the legs as you open up through the hearts. And a smile and then exhale. Come back onto your knees and we'll stretch the hands out. So we come into a half dog pose or we call it puppy pose as well. Forehead to the floor. And breathe. So nice long jayi breaths here. The arms, upper arms lifting, shoulder blades slide down the back. So there's lots of support in the shoulders. 
And then let your heart melt, soften. Breathe deeply. And then inhale, come back up onto all fours. We're gonna come back to a downward facing dog. And walk your feet together so you feel the inner legs a little bit more clearly. And inhale the right leg to the sky and hug those inner thighs like you're squeezing a tennis ball. Squeeze. Squeeze in, soften and lengthen through the bones. Mm -hmm. And then on the exhale, step all the way through to a lunge. Bring your back knee to the floor. And inhale, we'll take this mudra where we interlace the first three fingers and let your index fingers point out, hook the thumbs. Okay, so we're just going to hold the hands here at the navel center, cultivating this energy right here in the center. Feel it, feel it right here. And then sink your hips a little bit deeper, soften up through your heart. And inhale, stretch the arms up overhead as you curl the head back. So now you can really direct the energy through the fingertips up towards the sky, connecting with the cosmos, connecting with that infinite energy. Good, and then exhale, hands come down, release your hands to the floor, and then we'll reach back to downward dog. Inhale into plank pose, exhale lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, this time sliding through to upward dog. So this time the thigh bones are lifted, heads of the arm bones roll back. And you can take the center of the mouth and draw back towards the ears. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet together, left leg to the sky. And exhale, step all the way through to a lunge, back knee to the floor. Inhale again, we'll take this mudra, hooking the thumbs, sink your hips. Harness the energy here, right in your center, right in your navel center, harness. And soften in, so it's a soft harnessing. We don't have to get hard with this energy of commitment. It's more about aligning with our intentions, aligning with our heart fire. And then inhale, stretch the arms up. Breathe. And exhale, release your hands back to the floor. Slide your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose. Keep the navel lifting. And exhale, lead with the heart, Chaturanga Dandasana. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. One last pose here to cultivate that inner fire. Work the commitment. So set your right hand slightly in front of your shoulder. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot. We'll come into Vashistasana side plank. So here you just want to make sure that your hips are in line with your shoulders so you're not collapsing here. If it's too much, you just take one foot out in front. Okay? We'll spread the toes, otherwise stacking the feet. Start to open the chest. And if you want to work the abdominal muscles a little bit more, you can float one leg. Maybe even take it back behind you for wild thing. And then exhale, release, and we'll come back to downward dog. Take a few breaths if you need to come down into child's pose, that's fine as well. And then we're going to move to the other side, same thing. Set your left hand slightly in front, roll to the side, Vashistasana. You can take any variations you like, wild thing. Downward facing dog. Breathe it out. And come down to your knees. Rest the forehead, child's pose. And then inhale, come on up. So we're 
we're going to take uh, Navasana, the boat pose. <clears throat> Leaning back on the sitting bones. You'll find your balance here, lifting the feet. And you can start here with the hands behind the hamstrings with the knees bent. So this is a modification. And if this feels like your edge, you're just going to stay here. Otherwise, hands come out. This is another variation. Or the full pose Navasana is to stretch the legs straight, lift the chest, breathe. Smile. So the navel pulls in, heart lifts, expand the spine. And then we'll just pull the knees in for a short rest. Yeah, and then you'll go right back into whichever variation you're working. You can even go just a tiny bit lower. Navel comes in, heart lifts. Work the core, harness the energy. Knees bend and close in. And you cross the legs. Pick yourself up, lift the butt off the floor for Lulasana. And then one last Vinyasa. So sliding your way back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, Upward Facing Dog, or the Mukha Svanasana, Downward Dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Deep Ujjayi Breaths. And then we'll come down onto our knees. Okay, so we'll take the hands here on the thighs, and we're going to do Breath of Fire, Kapalabhati Breath. So first we'll take some ujjayi breaths, closing the eyes, relax your tongue on the roof of your mouth, breathing in and out through the nostrils, nice even breaths, breathing the sound. Okay, and let the eyes open. So breath of fire, we pump the belly with the out breaths. As you breathe out, the belly moves in and back. And then you'll breathe in, letting the belly come back out. So looks like this. And you can find your own pace, moving a little more quickly or slower. And we'll do two rounds of 30 breaths. So exhale all the breath out. Inhale a nice full breath in. And here we go. this time. You can join me or go slower. Deep breath in. Ujjayi breaths, inhale, exhale. And we'll come to a comfortable Seat with the legs crossed <clears throat> and bring the hands either to the heart or you can take them onto the lower belly forming a downward facing triangle. This will help you to harness the energy a little bit more down and into the body. 
deep breaths into the belly, inhaling. Exhale. Soften your face. So if you're one of those people that over does it and pushes too hard and efforts too hard, just let all of that go and align with your inner commitment, align with your inner self, align with your intention, that which arises in the heart, the sankopa. So you can just take a moment to feel that heart energy rising from the belly, from the solar plexus into the heart. Harness this sense of inner commitment. You can take your right hand onto your heart, left hand on top, and just offering yourself acceptance, love for all that you do, all that you show up for. And just take a moment to really hug in and commit to that sense of inner growth, to being in your, to growing and expanding into your fullest self. This is a practice that we ultimately need to do on a regular basis. So self-love, self-acceptance. And to that inner beautiful light in ourselves and in all beings, we take a bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone, for showing up so fully in your practice. You'll see major changes in your day when you do this. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.